Hello and welcome to Studio Tamara, the Mystical Paintress. Today, I would like to send a shout out to all of the mask makers. All of you out there giving your time and energy to make masks for the medical personnel and all the people that need them. Thank you very much. Um, today, I'm wearing this mask kind of just to um, show you what they look like. These are the masks they used to wear in the late 1600s during the plague. And in Rome, 135,000 people died from the plague. Or was it 160? Um, and in Naples, over 300,000. So this is obviously a reproduction mask. i got to tighten it a little bit. These are kind of uncomfortable to wear. But they would put herbs and things um, in the long nose beak part here. And that would stop the noxious, terrible... Uh, wretched odors from getting in and they believed that's what spread the virus or the illness was the odors so anyways um today we are going to do a big step-by-step -step painting some kind of painting and then i've had a lot of requests so i am going to start doing the step-by-step -step paintings as well so if i could get this mask on correctly then we could get started all right so i'm going to dip my brush and a little black oil paint and turpentine. Boy, the masks they're making today are a lot more comfortable than this one, I'll tell you that. All right, eyes are closed, and I am not looking at the canvas. This is a big canvas. So I'm going to close my eyes and go ahead and try and start painting. Maybe I'll look at you. That's what I'll do. I'm going to look at you guys instead. Okay, ready? Here we go. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to let my hand do what it wants to do. This is very strange. I hope I'm not running out of paint. Am I still on the canvas? Is this weird to watch? I bet it is. I'm not really sure. Okay, now I'm going to open my eyes. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so what is this exactly? This is a lot of fun. This is so much fun. You've got to try it. I'm telling you, you would love it. You'd love it, you'd love it, you'd love it. Okay. I'm just going to go over a few of these real quick. You know, it's funny because a lot of artists think their art has to be perfect and beautiful and photographic and they don't even realize how freeing doing things like this is. And I don't know if it's jealousy or what it is, but every now and then you get a, someone that'll comment something like, I'll say, oh, what do you see? And they'll say, something that looks like you painted with your eyes closed. Well, obviously, but that's not very creative. So, you know, it's kind of like, isn't it, wasn't it called the Roik Shop? The psychologist, oh, hi, Rob. The psychologist who used the different images to see what different people thought um, they meant. It's pretty interesting. Um, so, I'm not really sure. I'm just going over what I did here. I'm not adding to it. I'm just uh, checking it out. It's pretty cool. Modern art is fun. I used to always think it was a joke and that it was just people that couldn't paint. And, you know, that's what a, um, an uneducated, naive mindset would be. And, you know, when you're ignorant to the reality of all the perplexity of art, it's very easy to be judgmental like that. And I'm so glad that I've evolved and I grow and, you know, I continue to learn. And Okay, so... What do we got here? This is very cool, isn't it? So, I'm going to use what I started with when I couldn't see and I had my eyes closed. And then I'm going to elaborate on it. And I'm going to make a little more, I'm going to add to it now. But anyways, um, I don't want to take up a lot of your time because this isn't a step-by-step. -step, and I am getting a lot of requests. 
for the step by step, but it's so hard to to uh, stop and do a step by step because these are so much fun. Um, anyways, I'm going to work on this a little bit more, and when it's done, it'll be on my website under my subconscious series. I've got the pagan series, the portraits. I've got you name it, the plein air paintings. Um, oh, speaking of which, while I've got you here, I would love to show you something really special. Uh-oh, and I can't find it. Isn't that fun? Hmm. Well, oh, here it is. Sorry about that. It's my book, Plein Air Painting Tips and Tales by Tamara Lynn O'Val. And um, in this book, I have all the step-by-step -step, um, demos and what it's like to be outdoor painting and all the different techniques. And I have lots of step-by-steps in here and information that I've acquired over the last, oh, I don't know, 14 years or 15 years I've been painting. I've got some other information in there too. And you can get this book from me, from my website. You can also um, get it from Amazon, Barnes & Noble's Aid Books, all over the internet. So if you're interested in learning about painting outside, this is my book. Um, publishing a book was really exciting. It was a dream I always had. It took about three years to put this together. So this is a treasure to me. Between this and the videos, I'm living the dream. Isn't that fun? See you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.